Aquarius family, how are you guys? How are you guys feeling with this uh, full moon energy? Okay, thank you, Spirit. I'll, I'll use the moonology as well. Um, with this full moon energy, we're in family. This is a big, big energy and intense energy of um, retrograde. <laughs> Seven planets in retrograde. Are you guys riding the wave? I know that I have been um, doing pretty well with the wave. Uh, I know I didn't go live this weekend. Um, I mentioned it in the community board. I have been um, capitalizing on this energy that we're in to riding the wave and diving in, right? So doing some forgiveness work, some inner child healing work, some shadow work, some things that are coming up. and. Um, you know how it is when we do this work, it, it can feel real heavy. So I don't know what, why that was turned like that. Um, so I, I'm, it, the energy is starting to lift. I've been working on taking my energy back. You know, um, I'm, I'm very, I'm extremely sensitive. So I, um, if I'm not grounded and I don't work towards grounding every single day, I can't absorb a lot of energy. That's not mine. So, um, you know, like you guys uh, can as well. <laughs> we can carry the weight of the world, right? So thank you guys for understanding and for your patience. I have been doing what you guys have recommending me to do. I've been reading your comments, and that is to work on myself right now, to recharge, to replenish. I'm a mental projector, so I have to recharge a lot. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, a whole thing. If you guys know a little bit about human design, you you um, know, know a little bit about projectors, how... Um, it's uh, a necessity for us to uh, rest and recharge often and regularly. I have some decks picked out that I've been invited to for your reading. I, I Even though I didn't do the reading this weekend for this week's energy, it's still early in the week. So I want to get a message for the rest of the week for us. Let's just ride the wave together. Like I, like I mentioned in the other readings that we're going to navigate these shifts and these changes and our energy changes together. So I do have uh, some downloads for you guys that I've been that I've been getting in meditation that's leading up to this reading that I'm going to share with you guys before we get started. Okay, so this is not going to be for everybody. So please just take what resonates and and leave the rest for whoever it's for. I'm I'm very connected to you guys, so everything that I get, I know I'm I'm meant to share it. So I feel like someone is working really hard towards growing into emperor status and emperor energy. It's not easy to fit into emperor shoes, right? The emperor is disciplined and structured and very serious, very committal. Is someone who is a leader and a father and a husband, okay? So this person on your mind or this person that we have been picking up on their energy here is trying to protect you from uh, a psychotic karmic that is um, very evil. And um, they're trying to protect you from this karmic coming towards you to attack you, okay? And um, I heard that you are this person's angel of strength. You may not be physically uh, in this person's presence or physically helping them out. They are receiving, if you're sending them your healing energy, protection, and your light and your love, it has been helping them. If you've been sending them your army of angels, it has been really helping them and they can feel your energy around them, okay? Uh, the person you gave your everything to, um, and they turn around and gave their everything to someone else is now, um, awakened. Okay. And making fundamental changes to their life in the name of true love. They are doing all of this and making all these sacrifices and these fundamental changes for you. Of course, it's for them first, right? Because it was needed and it was time for them to grow and make these changes and transform their lives. But it was inspired by their love for you and your love for them. Because love is the greatest healer and it transforms all things. This love is the driving force for both of you guys' transformation. You show them how much you love them and you never stop showing them how much you love them. They are seeing what real true love is for the first time in their life. Probably you as well. They are receiving karma at the moment for the way that they treated you. You were sent to them by the divine as a blessing and a gift and that they did not cherish. They had a choice between, pe between people. One was greed and lust and the other was healing, true love, peace, and abundance. Guess what they chose? The devil's temptation. They bit the apple and got stung by the poisonous snake. 
the devil will always try to come in between a divine connection. So together, they can't step into mission. So they send a succubus to seduce them away from their divinity. This person was weak and they did and they and they needed to grow a lot. I heard don't interrupt their karma, even though you may want to help, because they have to complete it and learn. Otherwise, it will resort back to their old ways. What you can do is send them healing energy and protection. Use your gifts. This person was manipulated. And that's what kept them in this karmic cycle. Their karmic is still manipulating them, trying to at least, I feel this person may have been dealing with someone whose mood changed super fast, like someone with a BPD, borderline personality disorder, maybe. Um, that's not going to be for everyone. Okay. Uh, this isn't the end. It's just the beginning. So um, it's you and me against the world is a message that I heard from your divine counterpart. I also heard unspoken love, unspoken vow, unspoken promise. It's like you may be physical, you may be physically single in the physical world, but it's like spiritually you're already, there's a vow, there's a promise that's already made. Okay. Um, and I also got a message about children as well. Uh, if uh, you guys have children together, or if you have, your own children, they have their own children and you guys are coming together and blending families or if you guys are coming together, having children together. When you raise kids in a healthy environment with a healthy partner in a healthy relationship, you teach children that true love exists and they learn what healthy relationship, what healthy relationship and partnerships is and what it looks like. It's a beautiful thing teaching kids to, to be who they, who they are, which is love and to feel safe expressing that love out into the world. Because they're being raised in a healthy and a safe environment. So that's really important, right? So if you, um, if you're in a, uh, a healthy, true love relationship, your kids growing up, you know, um, learning about healthy love, you know, and what true love is and what true partnership and commitment, you know, um, is. Okay. So that's really important. Um, that we are raising our kids in, in a, in a really healthy environment where they can flourish and thrive and grow and learn about self love and learn about the vibration of love. Okay. The true vibration of love, not what, uh, not the distorted version. Okay. The disconnected version that, that people think that love is, which is abuse and chaos and drama and suffering and, uh, you know, uh, all of this, all of this, uh, 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 trauma responses, right? So, all right, family, let's go. I decided to choose uh, this uh, tea leaf. I've been working with tea leaf the past couple of days. I posted some messages on Instagram today. If you guys saw it, check it out, family. Um, very important messages. Uh, it's infinite underscore love 1111. I am going to shuffle here a bit. And then we're going to kick off our weekly message. I'm going to kick off our weekly message here. Thank you guys for your patience as uh, I am also, you know, you guys know I do the work. So I'm also riding the wave with you guys, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling good, feeling lighter, feeling better. We we'll still have, um, more, you know, uh, meditations I'm, I'm, I'm doing daily. I'm, I'm doing the forgiveness work as well. And, and I keep coming back to love, right? I keep coming back to unconditional love. Keep coming back to compassion um, and, and seeing only love, asking myself, what will love do? How can I bring love to the situation, which is Aquarius energy? Anyway, right? <laughs> what is the message here for the week, Spirit, for the Aquarius Collective? Let me go ahead and connect the energy.
Thank you, thank you, thank you, Spirit. May this message reach everyone that needs it, Spirit. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. It is done. Uh, family, thank you so much for you know liking, sharing, and subscribing, and for contributing to our community, commenting below. Thank you for all of your donations. Jeanette Swen, Lynn Marie, God bless you for your generosity. Thank you for purchasing decks and for following me on all the other platforms. God bless you all. All right, Spirit, what is the energy? What is the message for my beautiful collective? For this week, we have September. Okay. <laughs> so something significant happening this month in September here. All right. Well, yeah, it's the blue moon month. Uh, well, actually, to be honest, uh, the blue moon month is August. We're approaching the blue moon, the super blue moon in a couple of days here. The energy is pretty intense. Um, but there's something very significant taking place for you, for you in September, family. Well, we'll see. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get more information. Okay. For the Aquarius Collect, we have a year. Good news. You're probably going to get good news in September, family. And bowl, plenty of material things. So look at the, the, all this food here. So you're abundant. You're... All of your needs are provided for, for all of your todays and all of your tomorrows. You are, um, the abundant universe always provides. Okay. All of your needs are provided for. Beautiful. I love it. You guys, uh, so stay in this gratitude energy that you're in right now. Okay. What else? The Aquarius Collective for this week. Lily, spiritual love. So you're, so this is, uh, this, this love that we've been talking about. For a while now, it's very spiritual, okay? So you're connecting with a spiritual soulmate, spiritual counterpart. You already are connected with them, okay? So uh, let's get a couple more from this. We have older man, dealings or relationship with an older man. So you could be, there's an emperor energy here. That's how I see the older man. What else? You could be an older man. We have beware of great pride. So peacock spirit. And then we have rose. Romance is in the air. We'll take it. Romance is in the air. A period of 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 uh of of health and happiness is coming in here for you. And then we also have family. Uh, this great pride. Let's talk about it. You know, um, it's really good to be proud of how far you've come and all the healing work and where you at on your on your journey, right? But be aware of great power. Let's make sure that we stay humble. Okay, about our abundance and success and our growth and our abilities and our gifts okay <laughs> that we are awakening to the power right that we are that we're holding as um sorceresses and sorcerers and magicians okay i've been picking up on the aquarius collective energy you guys are beyond powerful right now okay you always have been but now that you are in alignment and you have awakened to your gifts and you're unlocking ancient gifts you are even becoming even more powerful, okay, um, with your spiritual ability. So, of course, you're going to attract in spiritual love, okay? So, um, so this week, we have romances in the air. Let's see, what else? For the Aquarius Collective. We have moon. So, we're, like I said, we're in this uh, blue moon, full moon energy, super moon energy, changes in your life. It's a cycle. That's completing and a new one that's beginning. Okay. Wow. This is a really great energy. Well, okay. That I have to get up to go get that card that flew across the room family. Wow. It's so interesting that this specific card flew across the room because it's the target card. <laughs> a goal oriented person so you could be that could be this it fell right under this older man that could be that older man but that could also be you family you are a goal oriented person you're 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 fixated on a goal and you're not moving from that goal you're like focused on your target right focused intention here okay so we're gonna get a couple more from this what else for the appliance collected for this week will get back to basics Get back to basics, family, whatever that means to you. <laughs> and then we have wheel at the bottom. Yeah, indecisiveness here. There's something you need to decide about. We have cracked pup. So dissatisfaction with life. So I think that's changing, family. Okay, if you have been in this four of cups energy, that's changing. Let me get one more and then we'll 
move on from this bird flying. News is on the way. Okay, good. Didn't we get that twice? Yeah, good news. So you got good news is on the way to you. Great worry over nothing. <laughs> don't worry. You're you. I heard. Don't worry. Uh, you bright future ahead of you. Okay, <laughs> family. Uh, so cracked cup. Wow. So you know, um, there is this. Uh, 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 I forgot where it's from. I think it's from. I don't know if it's Chinese or Japanese. Okay, you guys may know, but it's like they take gold, gold, and they and they um mend all like the cracked ceramics or cracked cups uh they put it together and they make it they make something beautiful out of it um i i remember a reading about that once upon a time and now it's like it's eluding me um but you guys may know what i'm talking about since you guys are in aquarius and you guys just know random facts you guys just know stuff <laughs> so um if not then definitely look that up because that's what i got with this craft cup it's like there is uh a, something beautiful you're creating from with the cracks okay and um it's like turning wh whatever cracked in your life the, the foundation that was cracked and um making beautiful works of art and creations with it. Okay. So romance is in the air. Good news. Uh, we have news is on the way. It's going to be good news coming in here. You have a spiritual love. This may all be coming in September, even though this is a, a weekly message here. Oh, no. I have somebody knocking on my door, fam. Can you give me one second, please? I'm so sorry. I don't know. Yeah, I'm working so it's from the back of the toilet. I'm gonna close my door if you don't mind. All right, family, sorry about that. Um have somebody coming. You know it's Mercury retrograde, so things are breaking. <laughs> Let somebody come to fix something here. I apologize for that. I don't know how to pause the 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 video so um all right let's see what's coming up here for monday family okay okay let's go all right spirit what else it's not for monday why did i say monday okay thanks mercury for the week i just got a little discombobulated for a second for the week for the aquarius collective what is the energy what's the scoop what's going on this week what does Aquarius need to know? Oh my God, family. So that's why I said, I don't know if you heard me say that earlier. Well, where did I say? Oh, it's on Instagram that I said it. Okay. So um, someone has, it's important that this week that you do the Bernard. I posted on the community board. Okay. The Bernard. Um, Meditation for curse removal and black magic removal. Somebody has been using dark magic, black magic, and someone's actions are finally catching up to them. I did say that somebody's getting some karma. But family, um, I've black, let me explain to you what black magic is. And we have clash flow, cl cash flow. Ooh, wee. And the phases of the moon. This phase will end soon. Someone is lying. Okay. All right. So let's see here about this black magic. Simply means someone is sending um, negative energy and ill intent, and uh, black magic can 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 happen. Let's say you're driving and you cut somebody off and they flip you off. That's black magic. Okay, black magic is when somebody is sending negative energy your way, or somebody's trying to interfere with, or somebody's just sending envy. Um, somebody is sending um, you know hate your way. He's throwing shade your way, you know, somebody's jealousy and envy, all of that. And they're thinking about you in that light. That's black magic. Okay. Um, somebody that could be manifesting you from their ego, from a place of entitlement, from possession, from greed. That's black magic. Okay. So we're going to, I'm going to clarify this. And, um, and that's probably why you might be feeling, if you're feeling dissatisfied with life, if you're feeling low vibration, 
And I actually just did the, I felt my energy off and I actually did the Bernard, um, uh, I posted it for you guys on the community board, the black magic removal and curse removal. And ever since I did that, I'm feeling a lot better family. So, um, especially if you guys are in the public eye, okay. And you are, um, out there in the world, shining your light, sharing your gifts. Okay. There could be people that are watching you. There could be, um, exes, um, old family members, old friends that you walked away from that are in their feelings about it. Okay. And sending you evil eye family. Uh, we're going to clarify this. And then we have caught up. Someone's actions is catching up. Then I say that there is, um, somebody that's receiving karma for the way that they treated you. That's probably what, what the, the, the people that they're dealing with. Then I say the karmic, the karmic is, is putting black magic on this person. Uh, we have here cash flow. Let's keep that one. <laughs> A large sum of money coming, coming in this week, perhaps, or on its way to you. What else here for this week for the Aquarius Collective Spirit? What else? We have altercation. A physical altercation may break out. You can have a confrontation with somebody or this is somebody in your energy that is dealing with this right now in their life. Okay. So with Mercury being retrograde, there could be some miscommunication. So slow down, think before you speak. Okay. And then there, you're going to have this, whatever good news is coming in here, you're going to have something to celebrate. There will be a reason to celebrate. Yeah. Wow. How interesting. Uh, I did a live with you guys. Um, and, uh, these two cards came out in the live. It was somebody was getting kicked out. Someone maybe getting kicked out and then a reason to celebrate. And look, this person is super toxic. They're throwing somebody's clothes out the window. Okay. That's probably what this altercation is. There could be some violence. There could be some violence. This, this, uh, this, this, uh, this uh, karmic is um, out of control. They they can't seem to control their emotions. Um, we have, you will grow from this situation or whoever is dealing with this. And then something significant could be happening around Halloween. And somebody is having some romantic thoughts about you at this time as well. All right, let's get some more. Oh, I, I, I just picked up, I just picked up the deck and what was left behind here is wrong way. The direction that you were moving in was a wrong way. Make a U-turn and insecure. Someone is shy and has a lot of insecurities. I'm getting the feeling that is this, that some, this someone has been using dark magic. Someone's actions are catching up. I don't, I don't think this is your energy, but let's find out. Let's find out family. All right. Tell me about this black magic. Someone has been using black magic, dark magic. Do that, Bernard. I'm going to post a, a different Bernard one on the community board. Um, the one that I posted doesn't have any kind of background sound. It's just him speaking. The one that I'm going to post for you guys, um, it, it, it's the one that I've been using. It's it's kind of the same thing, but this one, he's he has some sounds, some binaural sounds in the background. Black magic. Clarify black magic. Someone has been using dark magic. Clarify that. Spirit. Black magic. There, oh my gosh, family. Yeah, the, you're dealing, what you're dealing with here is, um, and I've been, this has been coming up, family, so much lately, especially in this morning uh, for Instagram. You're dealing with a spiritual love here, a divine counterpart, okay? And, um, and I did say in the intro, right, the, the, the people will send, uh, you know, somebody here to seduce, uh, to get in the way, to, to come in between the, the spiritual love, the spiritual counterpart, the, the spiritual soulmate, the twin flame connection here. Um, because so that the two people can't, you know, step into mission, right. And, and help with the ascension of the planet and, 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 and bring everyone back to love. Okay. The, the devil will work real hard to get the two divine counterparts not to come together. But I'm, but I'm getting here because this is the 11, 11 card. So there, so th this person in you that you are, this, this connection is divinely secured and protected by the divine. 
Okay. I'm also getting that the person, the, the person that this person was married to, this is a card of marriage. Um, that's who is, is, is sending black magic to this other person. Okay. Yeah. Family. So it's going to be the end of that though. It's going to be the, end. yeah, look at that. Look at this nasty energy here. Okay. There's five of swords energy. So, uh, th this person is dealing with somebody psychotic and evil and dark. Okay. And, um, and, and because you're connected to this person on a soul level, on a spiritual level, you could be feeling a lot of this. That's why I said, um, what they're, what they go through, you can feel it, uh, especially being a highly sensitive empath. So it is important for you to, you know, um, do the cleanse and the protection work. Call in Archangel Michael send. There is a meditation that I posted on the community board, uh, to send healing energy and protection energy to your loved ones. And, um, and that's what I feel here is important that you do. Okay. This person right here, this dark person is not going to, uh, win here. Okay. Uh, and yeah. So, so the, what I got in the download, that's exactly what, what the case is. Yeah. This, this, this connection, you and this person are way too strong, way too powerful. The bond is way too strong, way too powerful. Keep this person is needing to have courage. You're needing to have courage and inner strength. Okay. And compassion as well. Uh, someone's actions, someone's actions are catching up to them. Clarify that. Queen of Swords here. Someone's actions caught up. Someone's caught up. Someone's actions is catching up to them. I think you know this and you can feel it with the Queen of Swords. King of Wands. So, um, and, and we have the King of Pentacles here as well. So, this person here. So we're talking about people here, right? So this person here is um, wanting, what I'm getting here is that they're wanting to take action and they're wanting to take accountability and responsibility, okay, for their actions here because it's catching up to them and they're receiving some karma for it, right? They want to come in now properly and um, and do do right by you, okay? Um, we have the King of Pentacles that wanted to come in and off. they're getting ready to take action, but I feel like... You're in Queen of Swords energy. You have very strong boundaries. Okay, very strong requirements, very strong standards, and they know it. And they know your value and your worth here, especially with this Taurus card, uh, which uh, our, our Saturn is in our second house, which is the house of Taurus, of our value and our worth. And um, and it's looking to me like you're you're about to have to to receive some kind of major offer from somebody that's ready to that's that matured some that learned some very strong and powerful spiritual lessons that is ready here to uh settle down and to um do the right thing okay this this is somebody that you can rely on they want to be more reliable they want to be more dependable this person um it's because you're in this energy of independence taking your power back of self-assured you're you you're in the nine of pentacles and when you're in the nine of pentacles of um taking good care of yourself and being independent and having a lot of self-love um very beautiful energy of taking really good care of yourself taking good care of your community your family you then attract in uh, your 10th pentacle which is that long-term security and stability here and and it has and and also it's going to contribute to your abundance as well because two are better than one right when it comes to building and creating an empire and a legacy, yeah, one can do it just fine on their own. But what's the point of it all if you don't if you don't have someone to share it with? So what's this? Um, so there was an altercation either you or somebody in your energy had with somebody. I'm getting the law may have gotten involved if somebody, um, you know, decided to use their hands and fists and become violent. And that was actually what led somebody here to receive, you know, a win in their life is somebody completely lost it. Uh, clarify cash flow, a large sum of money. Yes, that's a yes from spirit. So a large sum of money is coming your way, family. <laughs> okay, so uh, this week, oh, that's a message for this week, but it can happen at any time. Just stay in this really beautiful, positive energy and flow of abundance, happiness, positivity. Okay, this is a card of freedom and recovery. It's a yes from the universe. 
It is a Leo energy, masculine energy here. So um, whatever it is that you are, your vibration right now is a vibration of, a mo- of, of I was going to say, of, of abundance, but money wanted to come out. So it's like you have been healing with the nine of pentacles, your abundance wounding, and you have been healing a relationship with money for a while, which is root chakra, okay, sacral as well. And this is solar plexus energy of willpower and independence and confidence and self assure and self-esteem. So this is beautiful. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So somebody wants to um, take accountability here for, for their actions in the past. And um, they're seeing the truth here. I feel like, you know, whoever has been trying to defeat them, we saw the strength card or defeat this connection or defeat you or come in between you guys, come in between this 11-11 connection is not going to win here. Okay. Um, it's not going to win. Not at all. But the sun card, the sun card trumps this entire reading. It's the best card to get in the entire deck. Altercation, clarify this. That's why things are moving a little slow here, okay? Because, yeah, it's requiring a lot of strength and resilience and perseverance and patience and self-control, um, inner and outer, because somebody here is dealing with, with a nuisance, dealing with a, you know, a demon. Uh, you know, you guys already know this energy, this, 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 this darkness, okay? And, um, and now they, you know, I feel like they're, the spiritual lesson here, right? With the strength card and the knight of pentacles, it's been slow and steady, but we're focused right here. Uh, where was it? Goal or this, this is a goal orienting person here. Okay. That is really determined and very cautious, right? But focused on, on their destination here, focused on g- getting towards the 10 of pentacles. We're moving slowly, but we're moving. Okay. Tell me about, yeah, look, things are getting ready to speed up probably in September. Things are starting to balance out in someone's life here. There's a lot of burdens. Yeah. They're celebrating. They got a victory on something. Things are getting ready to balance out in someone's life. Okay. The, the burden is getting ready to be lifted here. Uh, somebody has been trying to regain their stability here with the four of pentacles. Okay. And regain their balance after, you know, this, uh, karma that they have received for the way that they treated you and possibly the way that they treated others. Eight of Wands, we got a momentum here. We have some things speeding up. We have romance is in the air. This is Cupid's arrows, communication coming in of somebody really wanting to, somebody really wanting help as well and support, emotional support. That's the only thing you can do is offer emotional support when when this person does reach out to you and offer them um your your services right to your your healing services and um advice if if they are open to receiving only where we we offer it and if they're open to receiving right then you can help this person out with your gifts um but other than that you can just um you can't interrupt their karma okay celebrating clarify celebrating there will be a reason to celebrate family <laughs> Nine of Pentacles, yeah, family. Money is looking good. It's about to look good. It's about to speed up here. So this means a rise in clients for you, promotion for you. Um, it could be, you know, a new job that's more suited with your divine life purpose that makes you feel really good. Uh, whatever it is that you're doing to serve others, we have here. I'm, I'm also getting family. What you're going to be celebrating is. You're going to be joining forces with somebody here. You're going to go from single and independent to uh, some kind of partnership and commitment with somebody. And uh, again, this black magic person, this evil person is not going to win. Like I said, a love conquers all here. Okay. So you're about to join forces with somebody. Like I said, what's the point of having all of this if we don't, if we can't share it? Right. And I don't know if you guys watched the new life, uh, new life reading I did. This is going to be somebody that you can trust with your bag. <laughs> De- definitely check out that reading. Okay. This is somebody that you, like I said, that you're divinely protected. So, um, I know that if you've been betrayed in the past, which we have, right? <laughs> Look, as I said that 10 of swords, 10, nine of swords, three, three of swords here. Um, 
you know, where you got got, right? And uh, you trusted the wrong people and um, you may have lost everything. You may have to have had to start over time and time again in your life because you trusted the wrong people. Not this. This spiritual love here, this is some spiritual. The spiritual love is um, definitely somebody that you can, this is a, a legacy. This is devotion, commitment, long-term commitment and security and stability. This is somebody that's sent by God, spiritual love, that you have a spiritual foundation built first. Okay, there is something I posted on Instagram. I'm going to read it to you guys because um, that's the key right here. When you have a uh, when you have a spiritual foundation at the center of your relationship, you will uncover the richest form of energy and joy, and that's this right here, the the higher font, right? The spiritual love. There's a very strong foundation that you already have started to the you planted the seed already, okay, with somebody, and um, like I said, this this connection is growing stronger and deepening over time. It can stand the test of time, and it will stand the test of time. This is ten plus years. This is legacy and empire. It could be a spiritual business that you're going into with somebody. Okay. Like I said, the devil had tried to stop this mission work from, from, from you joining forces with somebody. This person is a leader, an entrepreneur. Um, you know, they have a lot. They, they tend to go after the things that they desire. They're focused on. They're passionate about their goals. This could be somebody that, um, is a public speaker even may have, um, an influencer, okay, and um, somebody that is confident and self-assured and independent even, okay, when it comes to their passions and their desires. Somebody is very creative as well. And um, so, so it's like there's a lot of drive and there's a lot of passion here that this person hasn't really been able to explore and expand and grow into in their life because they were uh, stuck in karma, stuck stuck under somebody's black magic here. Okay, but now with you here, they can grow, expand spiritually, physically. Okay, they 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 see here that you have. There's a lot of success joining forces with you. There's a lot of abundance. You come with a lot of abundance, a lot of protection, a lot of healing energy, a lot of love, a lot of peace, a lot of power. You know, um, so it's like what you already built here on your own. This person's going to come in and add to it. Okay, so this is a very beautiful reading, a very beautiful message. Your patience here with this, uh, with these two cards has been paying off. Your patience has been paying off. Okay, um, your strength, your endurance, your perseverance, your compassion. So stay in this really beautiful, positive energy. I understand why you would be in the Queen of Swords energy when it comes to this person. I think that there are some things here that you want clarity on, that you want you know, direction on and you want, you know, the queen of swords likes to know that likes to have clarity. I wouldn't say certainty is so important, you know, because when we trust the universe, we know that nothing is really certain. Things are sh always shifting and changing and the universe likes to surprise us. Right. But you do have a very strong against all odds. I just heard you do have a very strong spiritual connection here with somebody against all odds, family. <laughs> against all odds, right? We're coming together. We're coming together. Finally, we have come together in the 5D. And now it's um, with all of these uh, beautiful 3D energy here with the nine of pentacles, knight of pentacles, um, and 10 of pentacles. We have three Virgo cards here. So you guys may have some placements, Taurus here, Leo, uh, any of the fire signs, double Leo, um, Leo's are opposite signs. So when it shows up in our reading, there is something to learn here, right? About um, courage, about pride, about ego, courage, compassion. Maybe try to be more playful here with the sun card. You know, keep raising your vibration by spending time in nature, spending time in the sun. And, uh, you know, drinking a lot of water, moving your body is going to be really important. I think you guys are already doing that. This is somebody that takes very good care of themselves physically mentally spiritually overall wholeness and unity uh you know the mind body soul mind body spirit right the holy trinity here and it's because you're in this energy of you know unbothered right in the law of attraction i accept what is what will be will be what's for me will be for me it won't pass me by that's why you're gonna have a reason to celebrate here okay my loves all right let me get you guys a monology 
and then we'll wrap. I love this this message. I love, love, love. Actually, let me first do a romance angels spirit. A spiritual love, September. Somebody is fighting for this for this connection, okay? I am getting with this five of swords. Somebody is trying to protect you, trying to protect this connection from a psychopath. And um, and that's why, okay? It's like it's a sacrifice. This person has been making a huge sacrifice by being by staying away from 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 you until they figure out this uh, crazy person, uh, and and you know, and how to how to how to handle this crazy person. So just keep sending this person protection. Yeah, this is a past life connection that you have. Yeah, it has everything to do with your. Wow, I can't make this stuff up. It has everything to do with your spiritual path here? Okay, everything. This is a spiritual love. And this is your true love. So like I said, against all odds, family, this can stand a test of time, right? It's finally coming together here, okay? Whether you know this person or not. Um, if you don't know this person, this is what this person is going through in their life. And they are, you know, being guided here towards you. Being guided towards you at the perfect timing when they need the emotional support, when they need the healing, when they need you know, what, what you offer your light. So this person has somebody, the dark force is working against them, working against you and this connection. Okay. I don't know if this other entity knows about you, Aquarius. Matter of fact, let me find out. In that case, you'll know how to protect yourself. Spirit. Stop. Spirit, does the karmic know about the Aquarius? Does the karmic know about the Aquarius? Okay, I'm getting a no. Okay, yeah, this person is trying their hardest to keep you under a lot, to keep you, not to keep you as a dirty little secret, but to keep, to protect you, to keep you, you know, this love and this union under lock and key. For some of you guys, they do know about you, but for... For whoever this is for, that spirit said no, they don't, okay? Uh, or at least not yet, <laughs> right? At least not yet. But when you definitely come into a marriage with this person and if they are sharing um, some kind of uh, uh, karmic, you know, they, ha they, they have a karmic tie with the child with somebody, they will eventually learn about you, right? So, okay, and then you'll know how to deal with it at that time. We have North Node, step out of your comfort zone, family. <laughs> and then we hear Taurus energy here. Your dreams need a practical plan. What else for this week? The goddess for Aquarius. So you're being, so you're being asked to take that next step towards your destiny, towards your North Star, okay? And um, if you're feeling sluggish, like I said, lack of motivation, then do the, the, the meditation that I talked about. What else for the Aquarius Collective? There you are, family. Is you you're being asked to come to to come out of the cave <laughs> and show the world the real you. Show up as your authentic self. You step into the spotlight. Shine your light here. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have Scorpio energy. It's time to release negativity, which I feel you are with the Sun card. Okay, I feel like if you have been under a, a psychic attack with uh, dark forces here, even if this person does not know about you. Um, even if the person does not know about you, you are connected uh, spiritually to their person. If they're trying to get them to stay or trying to block their happiness, trying to block their freedom, trying to block their flow of abundance, it affects you as well. Okay. So you could be feeling them spiritually here. Yeah. Don't let the past release the negativity. Keep working on taking control of your intrusive thoughts when they come up. And um, using affirmations, meditations, breath work to come back to center and know what's real and what isn't. Those thoughts aren't real. They're trauma-based, but they are coming up for a reason so that you can, you know, um, see what still needs to be healed, right? When it comes to your nervous system, that means it's time to work a little more on your root chakra. Uh, don't let don't let your past hold you back and it's time to release negativity. I love you guys and I'll see you guys soon. Okay. Mwah. Much love. God bless you and namaste. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you so much for um, every which way you guys show up for yourselves, for each other.
And for me, every single person that does shadow work and inner child healing work helps the collective to heal. We're all connected, family. Okay? I love you. God bless you. I'll see you soon.